The plan to acquire a presidential private jet for President Tunubu has elicited widespread public debate, with the majority of Nigerians expressing disapproval due to the prevailing economic hardships. They are sort of representing themselves and not the masses again, as they were elected, as they were primarily elected to represent the masses. They are not. They are representing themselves. Me, as a son like this, as a father, you have a father like this, okay, father can't take care of this country, can't take care of those people, and they work with those people, and the father, now, if, if your children, if they feel hungry, you know how you, you, you know, you feel someone, so that people, when they are around all this, if they think no work, find way. Well, if the president wants to get a presidential agent, no problem, it's good, it's our president. You understand? We cannot say you should not buy a presidential jet. You understand? We wouldn't want to buy something that is more presidential debt, jet that you want. But if the president has a jet and it's available, which is more than one or two, and he want to buy a new one, uh, it's not a big thing. We can sell those others one. We will sell those other one. You understand? We can buy the money and buy the new current one for him. You understand? So that we will reduce because of the new one. They can't tell me the plan the past president jet has, has been abandoned just because it's on his own tenure now he had to get a new jet. So it doesn't work like that. We have so lot so lot of issues in this country already that we are facing. That they should just they should just pity the nation and and the, the hustlers. I don't I don't cast the politicians as hustlers. They are not hustling. We 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 the mayor Grand floors are the one we are the one hustling for them. Nigerians have called on the government to justify the necessity of the jet purchase and to demonstrate how it will be beneficial to the country. Queen Agaba reporting for Global Television.